I'm Lana. Hi, I'm Ashlyn. This is the Second Breakfast Club, and I am back from Germany! Yay! Yay! I'm still in pretty severe pain, and my legs look like sausages, but I'm here for you. And, uh, I'm here for the BTS comeback! I just want you all to know that we love you guys so much that we put ourselves through torture. Not you better delicious. appreciate how much we love you. Yeah. Like, I deleted my YouTube app, so I wouldn't be tempted to go into YouTube, so. This is the real deal, people. Yeah. Real deal. So stressful, it turned my hair blue. No. Which is not the worst thing to happen to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, this is just something that I did for when I was in Germany, and you'll see it for, like, three videos, because we're filming a bunch of comeback stuff tonight, because obviously we're not going to wait to film it on different days. Um, so this is probably going to be turning... That's surprise color. Yeah, surprise new color. You're not going to have blonde Lana for long because this will never be blonde again. But enjoy it while you have it. And I'm thinking about maybe lopping off my hair. What do you guys think? Shoulder length or something? I don't know. Buzz cut? Oh. Sinead O'Connor. <laughs> right? Everyone just starts mistaking my head for a bowling ball. They're like, oh, oh, okay. <sighs> Wrong thing, I'm sorry. <laughs> Coming at you like that. Yeah. <laughs> See, we become crazy waiting for this comeback. Yes. So, we're going to start out with Serendipity because that was the first one to come out. And I'm actually really excited about this one because I heard that Ratman wrote, wrote and, and composed. composed. Yeah, I heard Jimin mixed the lyrics, but everything else is basically Rap Monster. So, our babies are growing up and becoming, like, composers. I, I love that. I lo like, I love BTS and I want it to be around forever, but sometimes I get really happy thinking about when they're done with BTS as adults, what they're going to do. And, like, watching them collect all these talents and skills and, like... I don't know, I just imagine, like, Rat Monsters working at the company till he's, like, 60 and composing for the next BTS, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, that makes me really happy. I am a huge fan of intros on the albums. Mm -hmm. Like, every single one of them so far... I would put in like my top ten. <gasps> mm -hmm. So, y'all ready for this? Let's do it. Everyone's like, okay, we've already seen it, you losers. But... Yeah, we saw it forever ago and have already watched it ten million times. Did you see the view count? <laughs> Apparently, DNA won a like the most watched in like twenty four hours. I think it was the eleventh most watched in twenty four hours, but like definitely in K-pop. Yeah, in K-pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, we'll it's stop at like talking now. 41 oh. million views right now. Like, remember when people were trying hard to get Blood, Sweat, and Tears to 10 million? Mm-hmm. Like, uh. Anyway. We'll get to it. I know you've waited long enough. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. I'm so excited. I won't even try to time the pop in a little bit because I never get it right. Oh, it's like black pink. Oh, we have subtitles on. Because we love lyrics. Okay, sweet baby angel. Fluffy hair. <laughs> right? <laughs> Who told Jimin to play with sheets? That seemed very apple in the tree. Or Apple and the Eve. Or yeah, I like Temptation. Yeah. That hurts. Now he's in ecstasy. Oh, look at the lyrics. Oh, that's what I've been reading, girl. Getting bold. Eclipse. <laughs> Shook. Oh my gosh! These looks like I want to cry. You're my blue mold. That's so pretty. Ratmon definitely wrote this. Oh, that run. Yay, cat people! Sorry. <gasps> Am I the only one that wants to cry right now? I'm like believing in love again. Holy shit. 
Shoot. Holy ship. <laughs> Don't swear, you two smite us. <laughs> They're already gonna smite us because it's music. It's fine. I'm too shook to cry. He's so sweet. How often do we get sweet Jimin? Okay, great angle. Okay. Uh, uh, what <laughs> was that? That was me becoming. What was that? That was me becoming bisexual. Is what that was. <laughs> okay, like Jimin is beautiful and all of that. That was definitely written by Rat Monster, though. The whole time, I felt like Rat Mon wrote that song for me. <laughs> Maybe he did. I'm like... I'm gonna probably listen to this song on repeat for the next 30 years. Right. It's, uh... I like... I couldn't... Okay, I love everybody. All the vocal lines are amazing, but I couldn't imagine anyone singing this other than Jimin. Oh, because it's sweet. Jimin has such a sweet voice. So beautiful. That was so perfect for his... Like it range was like, and, and the message. The lyrics are sweet enough that it's immediately rap monster. He loves uh, romantic. Either being very romantic in, in like a fate and sweet and you know like lyrical kind of way. He gets very lyrical. Um, but even when it was all that sweet, there was a body rolling beat when that like beat dropped it didn't really drop but you know what I mean like yeah he said let me love you let me love you let me love you I'm like and then Jimin's rolling around in the covers and acting all, all cute and, but straight up you know when you touch me there's there's like so we're going there huh BTS you're all grown up now we're letting you out of you know someone let you out of those cages I'm just like one Ratman's mind is something else and in my molecular biology loving brain of mine, he would be the only one that would frickin' drop penicillium in the frickin' penicillium? Pen penicillium. Penicillin. You know what I mean? Blue I'm like, mold. <laughs> yeah, that's but blue mold and calico cats. But I'm just like, okay. And it's like And make it sweet. Like I've never wanted to be called mold before. Well, yeah, because it's like saving. Like, yeah, right. It's like literally the fungi that made penicillin that like saved yeah. millions of people. You know, like still to this day saves. People. And I also want to say, it's like save me, let me love you. Obviously, we're arguably this could be the first video in their new story. But there was some interesting theory potential in there like he's moving the sun literally with his fingers and like the earthquake and the it's like he was fate like the embodiment of fate or the embodiment of the universe or something i don't mm -hmm. know i'm not a theorist so i have no opinions on this matter but i'm just all in for lana lives for theories if i meet fate one day i hope it looks like jim <laughs> um yeah Jimin with fluffy hair looking like the coziest person on the planet. You're going to listen to this song on repeat and think of Rat Monster. I'm going to get a gif of him putting the blanket up uh, <laughs> on repeat forever. That, that was little, a really good one. That was a great song. That was a great... Uh, I mean, again, the intros. That's literally... Some of my favorite things. That literally, like, I've always... Feel like I'm never ever going to get married and not for, like, a stupid reason. But, like, I just don't ever really see it for me. But I'm like... This song made me believe in love again. <laughs> All you needed was Rap Monster write something nice. <laughs> I know, but like, he's written love songs before, but not anything like that. No, yeah. It was so poetic and so beautiful, and it the words were just very, had so much imagery to them, even without the music video. Like, for all the implied 
for lack of a better word, like sexuality of the song. Yeah. It was so wholesome and soft and sweet. And yeah. Like, like that yellow blanket. It was like, that is this song. Like this cozy, soft, I don't know. I love it. I really, really love it. Jimin is freaking beautiful. Right? Like breathtakingly so. Are you ready for DNA? Yes. Three, two, one, go. Once again, we have subtitles. Oh, universe again. just bragging that he looks good from every angle. He's also bragging that he knows how to whistle. I don't think he's really whistling. If he was, that's a clear whistle. It's so colorful. Uh. V looks so good. Oh yeah, your blood vessel? Is that what you... <laughs> Ooh! That was a cool effect. And that was. Oh, J-Hope. Providence of the Universe. So Namjoon wrote a lot of this. Yeah, right? He's reaching out for you. Fate is decided. You said something about fate in the other one. Yep. V-Cook! Fan service! Yeah, all this is not coincidence. This is definitely more V Cook. You high five. You know, the B is totally different, but it sounds like it's with serendipity, you know? The message is the yeah. same. And there's yellow, right? It's the theme. DNA. Okay, babe. <laughs> right? Floor slides! I love floor slides! Yoon Min. That blue hair. Look how cute he looks. Like, happy. Okay, Rap Monster. We are the only true lovers. <laughs> Lines for Jin. Okay. Mr. Universe song. Handsome. V Man. There's a lot of shipping fan service. Oh, I love J Hope's look there. Fluffy. So much fluffy. It's not a coincidence. So sharp. <gasps> they made a DNA. I like a little flash of DNA on his arm. It's kind of trippy too. Ah, that looks so good. Ah, the attack line. Yeah, that's what just happened. Keep your clothes on. Or don't. Please do. <laughs> a lot of like, I can't. <laughs> I have a lot of confusing feelings. <laughs> oh, you guys get it. And a straight line. Like, no one's... Oh, J-Hope. My gosh. I love when they're in a, a wide V or a straight line because that means everybody's featured. Like no one's hidden in the back. You get it, boys. So the weird thing, and I don't know if this is going to be weird or not, um, a lot of 
the random imagery throughout here reminded me of the cover of Pink Floyd's The Wall album. You know how it's like that, like, oh, rainbow the, like, triangle. Rainbow pyramid? Yeah. With the line. Maybe. It was, I mean, it was really psychedelic, obviously, and colorful. It was obviously like a dance-based mm -hmm. video. Well, well, I'm not saying that, like, they base it off that. I just said that's oh, what no. it reminds me of. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But I mean, like, they love allusions to other bands, mm -hmm. like Nirvana shirts, stuff like that. Yeah. So, like, maybe there's something there. But that was a bop. Like, that was a fun beat. The dance was awesome. The colors were, like, exploding everywhere. They were. A lot of shipping. I noticed almost all the popular ships in there. Like, even if it was just for a minute. Like, maybe if I have time, editor Lana will, like, show screenshots. But I, I find it very funny that they... They threw in a little fan service there. That's funny. Yeah. I, I didn't notice that, but I'm sh you have more of an eye for that kind of thing than I do. Yeah, it's that theorist part of me, uh -huh. trying to link up relationships. But definitely written by Rap Monster. Those lyrics were awesome. I, I actually think the lyrics made the song. You know what else I noticed? I think it was Jimin. Was it Jimin laying on the floor with like just that like random sun or whatever and sat up and like pointed? That reminded me of J Hope when he was on the train in Othello. <laughs> <laughs> Othello? <laughs> J Hope when he starred in Shakespeare? <laughs> Oh, spring day. Spring day. <laughs> I was thinking of uh, Omelas. And I yeah, said well, and I was thinking of uh, Japanese Blood, Sweat, and Tears when J-Hope and Jimin were dancing, like reaching up to the painted mm -hmm. ceiling. To me, th there's a splash of Japanese Blood, Sweat, and Tears in there. Like, but I mean, different looks definitely featuring like Jungkook in V in particular. Uh, I don't know, just good. Like, that was great. Uh, to me, to be honest, it's got like, um, it's a, it's EDM obviously, but to me that music video is kind of like dope meets 21st century girl. Uh huh. Like dance heavy and cool looking and flashy and cute. Like they all seemed really happy. I, you rarely see like sugar, like smiling or rap monster, like going full dad <laughs> mode. And so cute with his dimples that you could just swim in. I mean, it's not really a theory video at all, so I don't, I'm just the one sitting here being like, when are they starting my new story? Because I want to start researching well, it. I mean, obviously, like, the universe and space and stuff has something to do with... Yeah, well, fate, oh. destiny, this one, you know, multiple lives and... Yeah. You know what I liked about the lyrics, now that we're, like, processing? I like that, obviously, it, it's, like, written about a girl, but... I feel like it was also written about each other. Like, you know, destiny brought us together, we're in each other's DNA, like, this isn't a coincidence, like... Yeah. And the way they, like, linked arms into the little DNA, it's like, I like imagining BTS has always existed in some form. They were like musketeers at some point, or mm -hmm. they were like, you know... The knights of the round table. Like, just in past lives, they would find each other. And I think that's the coolest concept of afterlife to me. Oh, me too. Reincarnation. Yeah. Yeah. And that there's people that you're always meant to find. It's kind of like that movie Cloud Atlas or whatever with the Tom Hanks and Halle Berry mm -hmm. and stuff. I don't know. I think it's cool. I think it's a cool concept. So yeah, that was super cool. I, I think I like serendipity better. Oh, me too. Because DNA, again, I love the lyrics, but it's kind of a, a it's a bop. Like, it's fun. Mm -hmm. But it was like... EDM. Yeah. But there's something about serendipity that was just so different from what they normally do and just so... Breathtaking. Literally. Yeah, like, I, I know that y'all are, like, obsessive fans, so maybe some of you are also, like, in the fandom, like Dan and Phil, but, like, they say it's, like, soft and neat. Like, I don't know. There's something so delightful about serendipity. And I'm gonna jam to DNA, but, like, Serendipity was kind of a game changer to me. Yeah. Like, it was beautiful. That was art. I, f yeah, I know. That song was like, it ma makes you feel like you're the one that's like, being spoken to, you know? Yeah. I'm sure it wasn't just me because of Ratman, but I'm sure like other people feel like 
And to me, I feel... I don't feel spoken to because I don't really relate to them usually in that way. Like, mm -hmm. it's rare for me to get attacked. Today was a, a, a weird day for me. Like, but I felt like maybe I could someday give that song to someone. Yeah, I'm like, not that saying... makes me feel really like that. That's what I'm saying. Like, like you said, it made you believe in love. Like to me, it, it yeah, made me feel like if... I was floating in the cosmos and like I might find my person. Someday. I don't know. Yeah, and I don't mean I felt that way just because I feel like even if BTS didn't sing it, another band sang it, you would still feel like you were oh, being. No, like, absolutely. I'm just know. saying like that's the contrast between us. I think mm -hmm. some people will be like me, and other people will be like, oh, I hope one day I can give that you know what I mean it's like a give and take kind of thing. I, I just know. want to be able to feel that one day you right know? I have felt that before so I haven't too bad like I feel that for my dog but not in a sexual way yeah too bad my noise ended up being followed up my love life can be summed up with Rat Monsters what am I to you <laughs> so <laughs> that'll give you some idea of where I'm coming from but yeah very good! Very excited! And we're gonna, like, for you it'll post on different days, but we're about to speed through some, uh, comeback stuff. So look forward to that throughout the week, just uploading things we missed. So, mm -hmm. you know, music videos, comeback stages, even, like, the photos from the albums, albums I think yeah. we're gonna go over. Like, we got you covered. Thank you for being so patient, and thank you for, you know, I know that videos kept posting, but thank you for, like waiting for me and all your good wishes and everything like that. It was a really, really rough surgery, so it meant a lot to me that you guys were patient and nice and sweet. And you too. Because I'm the best. She is the best. The best Machne. You are. You're an evil Machne. Oh, I am. <laughs> She's been very into making those sounds. She wants to be Aegyo oh. so bad. <laughs> <sighs> One day I'll master it. <laughs> Maybe. You're pretty bad at it. <laughs> Uh, but yes thank you and until next time love long imposter also like comment and subscribe bye, bye.